yes, no Step outside, I bet you won't Who wants everything I do? Take me everywhere, me too Slip, slide, sideways Hey guys, um, you've seen me do a few videos before on my Master Forge Modular Gas Grill uh, this is the one that you can get at Lowe's. It's got uh, the grill section. It's got this section over here, which is covered up, which is a sink and two burners. And it's also got a refrigerator section. Well, as you'll notice down here, I've got my grill grates out because I wasn't happy with the way they worked. Um, first off, the instructions or the manual says that these are solid stainless steel, which I highly doubt. Um, they don't sound stainless. I can kind of tap on them with my fingers and they just don't have that sound that normal stainless steel would. They're extremely thick um, and the problem with that is they take forever to get up to temperature. Um, I was having trouble just getting the grill up to temperature. I mean I'd have it do it on full blast, um, wasting a ton of gas and then these were still not getting very good sear marks and um, I wasn't real happy with them. Then in one of my other videos, I used the no flare squares, which I placed underneath, which did help disperse the temperature um, a little bit more, so I didn't get quite the hot and cold spots that I did before. And those worked good, um, getting rid of the uh, the flame tamers underneath. But I still wasn't happy with the way the overall grill just heated up. And so my next thing I had seen on the internet and some YouTube videos, the grill grates. And I'm gonna go ahead and open up the grill and just show you what I've got. So I've still got those little flame tamer squares of the no the um, no flare squares underneath, and then I've replaced a few of the grates with the grill grates. And if you've never seen these before, check out some YouTube videos. They are amazing. Um, I cooked chicken. I cooked kebabs. I have cooked. Um, some burgers and at the end of this video I'll have some pictures of what I've cooked so far. Uh, so far they heat up almost instantly. I mean there was a solid aluminum um, and then they're machined and I suppose they're anodized so you don't get little bits of aluminum supposedly wearing off. Um, I've scrubbed them with a the brush. They don't scratch so far. They seem to be awesome. But everything that I've cooked has turned out fantastic. I get amazing grill marks, which I've never done before. So this is kind of a whole new experience for me. Um, I absolutely get no flare-ups. Uh, the juices drip down in those troughs there, kind of sizzles and smokes some more. Gives the uh, meat an extra added flavor. Um, just, I can't say enough good things to you. I mean, even the cheapest piece of crap grill that you can get out there, if you were to add these grill grates, um, it will make it just night and day difference. I mean, anybody can grill with one of these. Um, you don't have to worry about any kind of flare-ups or anything. Um, I kept these guys down here because it does even the heat out a little bit more. Um, and then I don't have to have the flame tamers underneath. And, you know, I feel like they, they work pretty good. Um, so you can see this section over here I haven't fully done yet. I may add a couple more uh, sections because they come in little sections here. You can see the darker one over here. This was the first one I got just to try it out and I loved it so much I've ordered two more since then. And I'll slowly work on adding them. Now these particular ones for this particular grill are 17 and 3 quarters. So if you want to get them cut, they're custom cut, um, you order the 17 and 3 fourths um, length and they will cut them to length. They absolutely fit perfectly in here. Um, is if I can scoop down here, you can see they don't sit above the grill at all. So some of them people will replace their grill grates and these little rails will actually sit above the edge here. These don't, they're perfectly flush. Um, they're almost like they were made for the grill. Um, and I will eventually add probably two more sections here. And then they actually make a griddle section over here, which would be cool for, you know, getting a sear burner like hotter than the sun. Um, and you could sear a steak super quick with that and then pop it over here to, to finish it off if you want to. I'm still debating whether I'm going to do that or not or just, you know, put the grates over the entire thing because they could still sear with those grates as well. Um, but I absolutely love it. These will never rust. Virtually they'll never wear out the lifetime. Uh, they come with some kind of warranty. I can't remember what it was, but pretty much these will virtually outlast your grill because they're not made of stainless steel or cast iron or anything. So they're never going to rust. They're really never going to wear out. Um, the grill tool I use to clean them is one of these guys. 
Um, these are way better than the ones with the bristles on them. First off, you don't have to worry about the bristles ever breaking off and getting in your food. I saw a new spot where those little bristles are breaking off, getting in people's food, and they're swallowing them. Um, and they're doing some major damage to their like their intestines and stuff. Because you can imagine those little pieces of steel or brass, you know, poking holes in your insides. These clean so much better. Um, once the girl's hot, I'll just go back over this. And I mean, it will completely clean the tops of these rails because that's really all that your food is touching. Um, and then they make a brush to get down in between. Now, if you order two or more grates, I believe on the website, they send you with this grill tool, which is kind of cool. And this fits right in between the grooves here. And then you can scrape up any drippings that have gotten down here or dried on stuff, which makes it nice for cleaning down in there and just, you know, cleaning out the little holes and stuff. Pop that back over here. But really, really like this. Um, you can also throw pellets down in those troughs there and you can add some smoke to it. Um, so it does a lot of cool things. But the biggest thing is just how nice the temperature is. I can turn my grill way down low um, and still get perfect sear marks. Um, not have to worry about scorching my food with flames. Um, just I could go on and on and on so I'll throw some pictures in at the end just to show you what I've done what I've cooked so far and it just makes me excited to get out here um, and cook some more food and just to see what I can come up with because I've never kind of experienced this grilling before so check it out they're called grill grates if you just type it in a Google search it'll come up with their website um, and you can see all the different kinds they make them from everything from you know the round barbecues to pellet smokers or pellet grills um, you can get them to take to the park, you know, those park, you know, grills that are nasty. You just throw them on top of the existing grates um, and you can grill it, you know, and park with them. Um, they just do a lot of cool stuff. So, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this. Um, if you guys, one other thing I forgot to mention is just to see what's inside these because I will never use these again. I'm going to go ahead and take a big bolt cutters and cut one of the pipes open so you guys can see what is really inside these. I even called the company when I ordered a part from them. It's like, hey, what are your grill grates made of? And they like, oh, they're stainless steel. I'm like, are you sure they're solid stainless steel? And they said, oh, we think they are. Well, I pretty much guarantee that they're not. So we'll pop one open and see what's inside. All right, guys, you can see I just cut one off. And I'm going to have to zoom in so this will focus. These are not solid. Imagine that. So here's the one I took off. And you can see, sort of, that this is stuck inside of a tube. Let me see if I can put this somewhere where you can see a little better. So we got some kind of core. I think it's just probably a regular piece of steel jacketed and a piece of stainless steel. And that's where it's shoved in a little bit. I was going to try to get the whole thing out, but I couldn't get it out. But I was able to shove it in that much. So yeah, um, you got too much going on here. That's why these wouldn't heat at all. So not real impressed. But even if these were just regular stainless steel bars, um, I'm kind of liking the uh, no flare, or not the the, uh, the grill grates a little bit better, especially because I don't get flare up. Um, even if it were just stainless steel solid, um, I'd still get the flare up. With the uh, no flare squares that I had underneath, that definitely helped, but it wasn't a foolproof. Um, what I've done so far on my new grates, they are foolproof and it's done a fantastic job. So if you're looking to upgrade your Master Forge grill, or just any grill for that matter, uh, definitely, definitely uh, save your pennies up and you know get a couple grates, uh, just work up to it, but it will change the way you grill.